what it is is just the ambulance is going to the hospital. It's quite quite the complicated scene. Lots of people involved, police, everything. It's it's one of those scenes that has to be done, but nobody likes to do them. Okay, stand by, please. When I was a kid, I ran around with my eight millimeter and made films constantly. I'd make films of anything. Family on vacation, family not on vacation. And as I grew up, I decided this is what I want to do. My favorite so far has been the attack of the worm people. In that movie, I was trying to convey that worms do have a place in existence. And I'm sure when everyone walked out, they knew that worms were in their backyards and watching. Oh, I could name off the big filmmakers that influenced me, but one that really influenced me a lot was Schwartz. Back in 1903, I believe, he put out a small documentary about ants. It was a pointless documentary on a pointless subject, and I thought he did it well. The only good thing about a scene like this is there's no actors, just professionals. Well, I don't know. It's just what we wrote was was uh, too good for any actors currently working these days. Uh, it was it was just impossible to uh, to find people to do justice to the uh, to the words that we had we put, as I was saying earlier, in a certain order, which was better than just like random typing exercises. Yeah, they showed a total lack of, of any ability to produce any emotion. Well, Douglas is is just naturally he's got a high energy level and uh, he's excitable <laughs> he knows how to handle violence now we all, all we need is an actor okay he says that's mine. Just an actor. It's all mine. maybe we can grab someone off the street it's an easy scene I mean what the hell you want to get sliced up became quite vicious once the chainsaw took over. Well, thank you. I hope you're not saying I'm schizophrenic. <laughs> no, no. Yeah, we, we didn't want so much the, the, the screaming that goes on as uh, uh, you know, something a little subtle or something like uh, perhaps gurgling, something like that, as opposed to uh, just the sort of hysterical screaming. We wanted something like calm gurgling. in the throat. It's pretty rough all right. Well, violence in itself is not bad and in this point in this movie to leave the violence out would definitely leave it lacking something. It needs the violence but it's not overdone for the sake of overdoing it. It's essential to the story. That's what makes violence either acceptable or not in my view. No, no. The animal mutilation scene went just great. I think I have a loyal crew. Um, I think that once they got to know what I wanted and came to expect from them, they responded tremendously. Uh, I could name off uh, at least three people that did excellent jobs. And uh, in my eye, I'd definitely like to work with again. Obviously, he really knows what he's doing. He's really whipping us into shape here, but um, he's kind of unforgiving about any sort of mistakes. Oh, well, he's a strict guy to work for. He's uh, tough. He knows what he wants, and sometimes we don't. You know, so it is. Uh, it's a tough life, assistant director. I'll tell you, but it's fun. I wouldn't trade it. Right. Well, I think, to be honest, I'd rather be directing myself. Yeah, this is this is my apparatus here. This is the only thing that I have. And that's all I do. Just go like that and get out of the way quickly. 
he's a hard man on, on his boom, man. Um, some people have come and gone real fast in this business, and it's because uh, he's a hard guy to work with. And uh, he's gone through about five boom men already on the set. You ready? Oh, he was good to work with. He's pretty thorough. Seems to get his own way, though. Bargains and dickers, and in the end, I guess, everything comes together. What big stunt? Ed, uh, Ed, pretty shrewd. Do I have to remind you all the time? I mean, really, Ed. We just talked about it last night. Yes, that one. Yes, yes. You thought I was joking. Ed, after five vodkas, I don't joke. Forget it. Oh, I like the pay. And the thrills, kind of. A, I like the feeling of the adrenaline running through your blood. You do this stuff for Good feeling. I think any stuntman will tell you that he likes it for the kicks, I think. Until he gets killed or something. <laughs> oh, yeah. At one point, one of the stunt coordinators got a nasty gash. And we had to rush him off to the hospital, and, and they asked us how it happened. And we claimed ignorance. What else could we say? Well, I've established a track record working in similar films. I've done axe films and razor blade films and cross cut saw films. And when they threw chainsaw at me, I said, I can cut it. <laughs>